Hey, come on in. It's poor setting Sunday. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful. I want to show you all the mountains. We got a rainy day, but it's a warm day. It's not real, real cold. So let me just show you the mountains. See all the fog coming up out of the mountains. I love it when it's like this. and I like it when it's raining and it's um, uh, thunder and lightning. See, it's real foggy right here because there's a mountain up there that you can't see. It's not showing up in the video. So, did y'all miss me? I missed me. Let's sit down and have a chat. I missed me a lot. Girls, I have been through it. I have been fighting uh, depression and uh, I've been staying in the bed and um, I decided I'm going to get up and I have to take control of my happiness. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, how have y'all been? I know the last video I made was uh, the cooking video, and that and that was a mess. Let me get this thing fixed up here. Ugh. Anyway, that was a mess, and so I decided that I've got to put some work into my channel and be true to you all and start uploading like I should and um, reconnect with all of my YouTube family and friends. Well, all of you I consider family. Um, you're my, my hope at the end of the day and, and my sanity. So I'm looking to you all for my happiness. No, I gotta find my own happiness. I love you guys. I really do. I missed you. I have missed you so bad. And and I think about every one of you. Um, Babs the other day, I was talking to her on Messenger, and she uh, kind of kicked me in the britches. Thank you, Babs. I love you. And if you don't know who Babs is, then you're missing out because Babs is. Um, 77 years old. She looks like she's 47 years old. And she's gorgeous. She has a head on her shoulders like no other. She's like a big sister to me. And um, she just told me, you got to get up and do for yourself. You got to make yourself go. And I have really, really been fighting depression. And she is helping me to get through and fight this depression. My son will be gone this March 24th. In March, if you followed me for any amount of time at all, you know that I lost my son. And you know that I have bouts of depression because of it. And I have a lot of anxiety. So I, I'm getting through the depression, and it's causing a lot of anxiety. So, um... I'm going to do it, though. Y'all are going to help me. Leave me a comment below um, what you like about my channel so I'll know what kind of content I need to be um, doing. I know that you all like to get ready with me. I know that you like uh, me to talk about my skincare and my makeup. Um, I'm trying a, a product right now called... Um, What's it called? I can't remember what it's called right now. But anyway, it's strips uh, that you put on your face and you put them in your wrinkles. I, this is really my only trouble spots right around my mouth, right here. Ugh, I hate it. But I'm getting old. Anyway, you, you stretch out those wrinkles like so. You put that... that whatever. I can't remember what it's called now. That's one of the things that comes along with the anxiety and depression. I went to the doctor. I've got all kinds of, um, they took blood work because I have all kinds of 
symptoms of my calcium being low, my energy level is, I don't have any energy, I, and um, there's, uh, I can't wear my rings because see the red mark I'm getting around, uh, that's a sign of low iron, and I know my iron's low because I'm eating ice like crazy. My fingernails are very brittle, and when you get, I've tried to cover them up, but nail polish won't even stay on them, and you all know I used to have long, pretty, pretty strong fingernails. Um, if you follow me, and see, I've got this, I know, from going to nursing school, going to beauty school, all those things, that when you get a white spot like this, you can see that in your nail, that means that you have a low vitamin deficiency. And also I've got, if you get ridges, sometimes the ridges can be, I know this is not my uh, regular Sunday chat. Um, it's not my regular Sunday storytelling, but I'm, I'm telling you things that's going on in my life. This is life, it's real life. Um, if you get ridges, and this one's got nail polish on it, I can't get off. If you get ridges in your fingernails, can you see the, wait a minute, can you see the ridges right up above the nail polish? I gotta get that nail polish off. And my fingernails are just brittle, look. Look, I keep filing them, and they're just as brittle as I'll get out. But anyway, I'm trying to get, get I, I can't afford the vitamins I need to take, so I have to get they'll give me um, my insurance was paying for um, prenatal vitamins and I can't they won't pay for them anymore so and I can't afford them so anyway I digress um, that's neither here nor there but anyway this is what's been going on with me I've just been very 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 depressed um, but I am gonna I feel better I went to the doctor, and um, he's going to be calling me about my blood work tomorrow. I will keep y'all filled in. I'm going to do a video tomorrow, too. I've been trying to get up, do my hair. Y'all like my hair? This is this is my hair curly. This, I mean, I don't curl it. I just don't, I let it dry on its own. I just don't do anything to it. It dries on its own. Remember back, well, you all don't remember back last March. And see, this is all my hair's grown. Back last March, I got a wild hair, and I had my husband shave my head. And I did it. Mm, I got hair in my mouth. I did it to bring awareness to uh, people with mental health issues. Because, you know, we all suffer from mental health issues. All of us. I don't care who you are. You have some kind of mental health issue. Whether it be anxiety, whether it be depression, whether it be mood swings, whatever. It is a mental disorder. I mean, we, as some people deal with things better than others. I used to be, I used to deal with things. I mean, I'd plow right through it before I lost my son. I plowed through taking care of my oldest grandson um, when he was diagnosed with uh, spinal muscular atrophy. Um, I plowed right through that. I rode in an ambulance giving him oxygen with a ambu bag all the way, uh, taking care of him, plowed right through that. Lost him jumped right into going to school to be a beautician and I just plowed right through it, got through it. No depression, no, uh, I cried a lot. Yes, I did, I cried a lot and I prayed a lot and cried a lot and prayed a lot and even asked God why it happened. And I got my answer. God always does things for a reason. He always lets us know what that answer is. So, you know, we just, I learned from Babs that we just have to take the good with the bad and we got to plow on through and just um, the good times, enjoy the bad times, just plow through them. And I want my happy-go-lucky self back. 
So anybody out there that prays, pray for me. If you want to send me good vibes, send me good vibes. I do want to tell you that I have two of my um, subscribers that is part of the Suzy QB family. Um, that they uh, sent me packages and that brightened some of my days. I do want to show you some of the things in coming videos that they they got me. I am in the middle now of, so y'all going to see a lot of different things. I'm in the middle of transforming or moving my, um, moving my filming. I used to film in the closet. Well, I'm out of the closet. I'm out of the closet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> a little laugh there. I'm out of the closet. Uh, I'll be in my bedroom. And I'm in the middle of transforming my bedroom. I'm, I'm going to be painting my bedroom suit. Y'all want to watch me do that? Leave a comment below. Hey, if you're here and you haven't subscribed, maybe you ought to because there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff coming up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do day in the life. Um, of me show y'all just how boring my life is but I got a lot of projects I'm going to be doing I used to be very very talented of doing redoing furniture painting it painting on it doing different things with it um, years ago years and years ago I did a few pieces for my um, special girlfriend um, and I'll tell you uh, if you're new here I had two girlfriends that we were like this, and we did everything together. We went on vacation together, just us three. We didn't take no kids, it was just us. Me and Dorme and Teresa, and we would go, um, go on camping trips. We would go to Myrtle Beach. We just did everything together, celebrated one another's birthdays. Um, and one year I acted like a baby because they called me and told me they wasn't going to celebrate my birthday that year. And I cried. And so they, their theme for that year was a baby. They dressed up like two babies, had bottles, diapers on, everything. I mean, we had a ball. I lost both of them. They both passed away and, and left, me, left me with nothing. I mean, right after they passed away then, I lost my son. So, you know, I have had a lot of losses in my life, a lot of heartache in my life. If you're new to my channel, you're finding this out. Go back and watch my set, Pork Set and Sundays. You'll see and hear some of my story. Um, I was writing a book on my Patreon. I decided against that I'm going to go another route and do videos. If you go to my Patreon page and... Um, donate one dollar then you can watch a special video that I have uh, um, one dollar a month and you can watch those videos special ones that I don't put on YouTube um, I just wanna I wanna work hard and throw myself into my family, throw myself into my YouTube family. You all are my family. You've been my family for years. You've been my go-to people. When I have a problem, there's there's ladies on here that I speak with on Messenger. If you're on Facebook, follow me. I have a page on Facebook. Um, Susie Blankenship and then um, Susie QB's Beauties, and we can we post stuff on there. It's not been real active lately, because I just have pulled away from everybody again, and I need to quit doing that. And you all are going to help me. You're going to kick me in the britches when I need it. Speak to me like you think I need spoke to. Like, if I start slagging, you all. Uh, and I'm sorry. I want to apologize for in the past few months. I haven't even responded back to your... Uh, comments or you know anything that you've said now I've read it but I haven't responded to everybody and I apologize from the bottom from my whole heart I apologize I love you guys I'll see you tomorrow I am gonna make a video tomorrow um, it'll probably be a get ready with me video 
my eyes are swollen today a little bit because um, uh, allergies. I have allergies to the outdoors sometimes. It depends, you know, what's going on. I'm, I'm have an allergy to grass. Um, I'm not looking forward to grass mowing season, but I am looking forward to summer. I'm looking forward to spring. In, spring is in 20 days, y'all. 20 days. I can't wait. I'm counting them down. Time changes on the 14th, so um, it's going to be dark, daylight longer, and I love that. Am I carrying on? Am I... Uh, I'm... I'm just talking your legs off because I've missed you so much. I really have. I've missed you so much. You're going to find out this is me. You're going to find out I'm right out there. I mean, you know, I put my life out there for you. I'm just plain. I just tell you like it is. I don't um, do anything fake. This is me. This is me. My fat cheeks, my fat jaws, everything. But I love you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, at the end of every storm is a beautiful rainbow. You're my rainbow. And my depression is my storm. And I'm coming out of that storm into the rainbow. I love you guys. Please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment. And I will get back to your comments, I promise. Pinky promise. And also, I got something to tell you. Um, it's very exciting. I mean, I can't wait to tell you, and I'm not telling you today. You'll have to wait till next Sunday. I'll tell you then. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye. I love you guys. I love you guys. I really do. Miss you. Bye. I don't want to hang up. It's like a phone call when you don't want to hang up. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe.